Oh, it's Hilo. What's happening, everybody? Thanks for stopping in for another video. What we got going on right now, we're going to get into another run of Isaac. Since we unlocked a bunch of characters last run, we're going to start out with, uh, let's try Zalo. I'm a little behind. Let's try to stay up with what's on the screen, shall we? Alright, so the first floor, immediately run into a chest, don't have a key for. So Azazel, as you'll notice, he's got a very different skill set than Isaac. He's got to be the most different character out of everyone that's available. Because one, he's got flight. Two, you can see that little short range brimstone that he has. Ah, oh, sweet. And just like that, unlock Lazarus. Just like that. We are moving right along with this file. <laughs> Two runs, and we've already unlocked four characters. So, yeah, like he's got that short range brimstone, he's got the flight, and then the most important thing, he doesn't have the red hearts, he's got the black sin hearts. Which are similar to the soul hearts. You can't replenish them, you can only replace them. The only difference being with the soul heart, it just fades out like a normal heart would. You know, nothing like at a benefit, it's just less health that you have. The black heart, the sin heart, there's another benefit. When a full sin heart is eliminated from your health bar, all enemies in the room take damage. So I just picked up Libra, and that's why I checked my stat screen on the start. It's unfortunately bounces out all my stats, which is less damage than I want. But it's still a lot of damage, because it's still a short range brimstone. And safety cap. Hopefully I'll find some more pills now. And and good side of, the good plus the blah, 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 the upside of Libra is it gives me six coins, six bombs, six keys. So I just went ahead and check out the shop, and just gonna deposit the coins and take a key, keep it pushing. <sighs> Stay hydrated, folks. Stay hydrated. Keep it pushing, keep it pushing. We got the boss fight, Monstro. So we'll see just how much work I can do. You can, I would definitely be doing more damage if I had not picked up Leaper, but at the same time I'm okay with it because it's still much more damage and at a much faster rate than if I was anyone else on floor one without picking up an outright amazing item in the item room. Let's see, two, one more shot should do it, there you go. Take a hit, that's unfortunate, but item we have Jesus Juice and uh, pick up a Sin Heart as well, so and that sin heart's at half because half of it filled in the soul heart that had already taken a hit. So one hit and you'll see everything in the room take damage. That's a plus. That's a nice plus. Azazel versus I believe that is Sloth. So the way of his Ipecac shots, they provide poison, but more importantly, they explode. I don't want to be anywhere near that. Hit Go ahead and use that. Some more soul hearts. So we're not going to be seeing a sin heart pop anytime soon. Nothing in this room. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow up TNT because I like that shit. Take a hit, which is unfortunate, but since I still got that, I don't have to worry about taking that second hit. Nothing in the room. Clear out the heads, and since the brimstone beam will go over rocks, I can fire from safety. Monkey paw, hang on to that. Definitely rather have that than the pills, since I haven't actually found pills, I found cards. A lot of flies, a lot of flies. I'm gonna end up doing an entire circle around this room before we get them all cleared out. So worry about the flies that take shots at me first, anyway. The little things are hopping around. Knock out these guys. Da -da -da. More flies, more worm. All right, looks like everything in this room cleared out. Let's pop into the item room. See what we got. We got lemon mishap. Eh, it could be worse. I mean, it could be better, but it could be worse. Let me miss half what it does is it puts a little yellow puddle in the ground and enemies walk into it, take damage, but so let's see, bomb that, and there was a marked rock next to that. Oh sweet. Guppy's head. That's one guppy item. Always want more guppy items. And the goat head. Goat head means I'm guaranteed from this floor on, at the end of every boss fight, I'm guaranteed a deal with the devil room, or if I meet the conditions for it, a angel blessing room. But that's at the end of the floor, which we are not currently at. So let's just go ahead and throw all the coins I got into. Yep, blue map. This is why we put coins in the donation box. We'll slowly but surely upgrade the shop, unlock new items. It's worth it. Especially since you don't always walk in there with coins that you want on the first couple floors. Like you'll see things in the shop you want, but you ain't got coins. Dingle. You'll see things in the shop that you want, but you ain't necessarily got the coins for them. You're better off just go ahead and dump them in the donation box because you don't know when the run will run. The run will end. The run will run. Yeah. We're always running the runs. Run, run, run. Run all night and day. I ran so far away. I'm going to stop saying things now. Dingle's dead with one more shot. Booyah. 
Uh, caffeine pill, not making the same mistake twice. Let's go see, see what this pill gives me is. Health up, not bad. Go ahead and take that. See what we got in the deal with the devil room. Now, since I took that health up pill before I came in, I think is why it changed it over to the red hearts. But with Dead Cat, I can get another red heart because Dead Cat gives me the nine lives. So, and then I pair it with several robes, which gives me plenty of sin hearts. So, at the end of floor two, I have nearly maximum health and nine hearts. And all the little bonuses that go with a average Azazel. Damage, speed, all that good stuff. Plus, I'm carrying Guppy's head, which is... Yeah, Guppy's head, which is one Guppy item. Dead Cat, which is another Guppy item. So, if I find one more Guppy item, I'll become Guppy. What were those pills? Uh, bomb the key. And the fool. I'll pick that back up. Let me clear out this challenge room. There's a hit. And there's the popping of Sinheart. See how it eliminated everything else that was in the room. It does good damage. That's why Azazel Azazel runs usually get past the first two floors, no matter like how terrible you are. I was tired of that challenge room. I didn't feel like there was any time spending. It wasn't worth spending the rest of the time in there. Teleports took me out. Pick up this change. Move it ahead. Ah, oh, sweet Agmer. And a bomb. Not bad. Always take bombs. Uh, no, 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 no. We are not touching that. That is soy milk. And even if I'm wrong, I don't care. I ain't taking the risk. Soy milk, if this wasn't a Zazel, if this wasn't floor three, maybe I'd consider it. But I'm not touching the soy milk. Soy milk will ruin me. If you don't know what soy milk does, if you fire normal tears, or, or anything close to normal tears, regardless of whatever effects there are on them, it'll make your tears incredibly small and come out incredibly fast. Basically, it maximizes your tear rate, but it minimizes your damage. So like I said, if you get that early, and you don't already have something like Brimstone, it's, it can be worth it because you can build it up. But I, even a modulated form of modulated, even a um, weakened form of Brimstone, it's still Brimstone that I'm walk, floating around here with. You see me clearing out these rooms pretty easy. And um, what the tier rate would do for me in this case, it would minimize my charge time, is what tier rate does for a charge of attack like the Brimstone. But at the same time, I would have to hit enemies with so many more brimstones, and it's not worth it. So let's keep it pushing. Bunch of cleared rooms. Bunch of cleared rooms. Here we go. Couple headless baddies. Um, one more. Booyah. Into the shop. And... No point taking BFF because I don't have any familiars right now, and... I'd rather hold on to some of my cash because if I can get Hive Mind, I've already got some blue flies. I'm just gonna keep building up more. That would make them stronger. I would be very happy about that. So before I go into the boss room, let's see what's in this last room. Uh, just skulls. Take a hit. That's unfortunate. I hate skulls. They are far too accurate for my liking. So with that in mind, let's just go ahead and pop in. We got Mega Maw. This is gonna be quick. I got a couple flies, which will make this a little quicker. But more importantly. A brimstone. Like I said, even a limited form of brimstone that it is, it's still very powerful. So we get dinner, another heart, and pick up that soul heart. Got Max, ah, oh, sweet, that is the contract from below, and I will happily take that. What the contract from below does is at the end of a room, you'll notice, you've probably noticed it more than once now, when you clear out enemies, things will drop. There could be a chest, there could be a key, it could be coins, it could be bombs, it could be a pill, etc., etc., etc. It doubles the drops, literally doubles them. Two chests, two pennies, two keys, two bombs, two pills, two cards, two of whatever is dropped. So if it's a really good chest, you get two really good chests. That is a great item to have, especially with the synergy that it can get from so many other item gathering items. I'm beginning to sound redundant. Okay. Let's comment on the action, but we're moving so quickly through it, I don't know what to comment on. We're just. Moving through, clearing out the enemies. Oh, that's not a shop. That is a greed fight, which is unfortunate. I would rather have a shop. Since it's a greed fight, we're not going to get a shop, because if you look at the wallpaper, this is the shop. But that's a marked rock, which can be a soul heart, so I'm back up to full health. And the next room. A couple of poos, but more importantly, there's the item room. That's what I want to see. With a nap poo. And then we get the tough love with the two shot. Now, considering we got brimstone, I don't know if this really does anything for me. I'm hoping it ups the damage. It kind of, maybe I just haven't noticed it, but it seems like my charge is a little faster too. But like I said, maybe I just wasn't paying the utmost amount of attention to my charge time up until that point. 
I like to think things are happening when they maybe aren't. And then find reasons for things that aren't in fact happening. Because, you know, my mind, mind the mind works in some mysterious ways. So there's two pennies. The contract that's doing his job. We got, we got nothing. We got pills. We got uh, balls of steel. Okay, now I know what balls of steel the pill looks like. And bombs a key. Go ahead and use that. So it gets one more key over one more bomb. And there. I don't have any interest in that. No, no, no. Little floaty float. Take care of him. Battery. This is a one room charge, so it doesn't really do me any good. Keep the monkey paw for now. Um, more spoders. Take care of the spoders. And explored. Nothing but rocks. Nothing interesting here. Uh, coins. Nothing wrong with that. Happy to get some cash in there. Up. Oh, that's a holy heart. Specifically, yeah. yeah there's nothing actually coming out. So holy hearts. The way they work is they always show up in halves. And if you get another half of a holy heart, or you finish the floor while having a half of a holy heart, you'll be granted a full red heart container. So it's a good way to get extra health if you're careful. Because I don't have any red hearts to begin with, I know it's going to spawn all the way on the final heart I have. So I'm pretty much guaranteed to leave the floor with it after I kill this mega fatty here. Just have to avoid his poo shots and his belt shots and... If he decides to jump, get out the way in time, like that. As I'm floating, whatever that he leaves in the ground is not really interesting. We got poos, we got... Uh, before I pick that up, yeah, that's what I wanted to check. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get this ghost baby. Because I waited for to pick this up, I didn't have any red hearts walking in there, so red hearts could not be the currency. That's the way I think this works. If you don't have red hearts, it won't give you red heart option. But if you have even one heart, then all options are requiring the red hearts for a currency. I hope you guys. I hope I said that eloquently enough for you guys to understand what I'm talking about. At any rate, now I got two red hearts, the justice card, lots and lots of health. Looking good, looking really, really good. What floor is this? I believe this is floor five. I've lost count at this point. I believe this is floor five. Uh, what do we got? That is clear room. And it's gluttony. Okay, gluttony's gonna go down real quick. Yep. And get up, refill that. If you don't, one good thing about Soul Hearts is you can refill, but we can potentially refill, or rather replace half of a Sin Heart. They kind of work, they kind of synergize. It, they work with each other, this is the best thing I can say. Soul Hearts, Sin Hearts, they'll fill each other up, whatever comes in line. But soul, the Sin Hearts will take precedence over Soul Hearts, like, in the situation. If I had full health, but then just those two, like if there was all black, the two red and two blue, I found two more black, the two black would replace those two blues, but that's likely not going to happen because I'm take hits. Because I don't dodge everything so well. It's like there. I backed myself in the corner on purpose, but I cheese them out. You can cheese people out of specific bosses like this by staying on the rocks, not giving them any options to attack it. So we got, we got, no, yeah, let's go ahead and pick up the placenta. And nothing needs to be bought, so let's see what we can get out of the chest. Bunch of soul hearts and some pills. Balls of steel and telepills. Hang on to the balls of steel. What balls of steel does is it will give me two soul hearts. So hanging on to that until the point where I have taken damage, and I can then add two more hearts to myself. Guaranteed is a smart thing to do, especially since I've already used one of these pills before, and I know for a fact this is the balls of steel pill. So clearing out these rooms because I'm going to find the item room for this floor. I just went ahead and did the boss room for whatever reason. Uh, happy to see something good. The champion belt. It says challenge up. I'm not worried about the challenge at this point. Store upgrade number one. There we go. Level one store achieved. Okay, keep donating because why not? But um, I'm not worried about challenge at this point. I'm pretty well equipped. I wanted the damage though. If I have the damage, I'm set for the trap. Eh, I bit my tongue. Ooh, that's... Mmm... I can only be mad with myself, and I'm mad with myself. That hurt. And who's in the door? Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. Where's the item room? Where's the item room? I want free stuff. Mm, that's an empty room. Serves no purpose. 
Uh, I'll take free bombs. Yeah, sure. I don't need to worry about bombing the rock. Still looking for that item. Keys, nice to have them. Challenge room, yep. Oh, look, mom's wig. So in addition to blue flies, now I can spawn blue spiders on a regular basis. Well, I don't have any direct control over the spawning spiders, but it happens often enough I consider it to be reliable. Especially with the raid I moved through. Especially with the raid that I moved through floors, I'm trying to say. Next rooms, gullies. I do like them. They're too accurate, they're too fast. They're more competent than most enemies, is what I'm trying to say, and I don't appreciate that for them. But into the abyss to deal with the enemies sooner rather than later. And then the bomb flies, and then I deal with the little shooty flies. And I finally found the item room. What do we got? It is Sister Maggie. Now I have the ghost baby and Sister Maggie. Maybe taking BFFs on the previous floor wouldn't have been a bad idea. But I'm not relying on them. If any, if I'm relying on anything, it's the spy, the uh, flies I'm generating on a regular basis. They do damage equivalent to my damage stat, and being that I have brimstone, I consider my damage stat to be good, even though it may not necessarily be. It's just the how rapidly brimstone pings enemies with damage. Next floor, we have. Let's see. I believe this is. Yeah, this is the mom flight floor. So it's the last floor with item room and shop. Gotta keep after this we're gonna be speeding ahead. Infamy, happy to see that. Really happy to see that. And go ahead and pop that. Push through all of these, push through all of these. Taking hits. Not happy to be taking hits. And okay, go ahead and use that. Balls of steel may as well. Go ahead and pop that again. All those fires, that good. And a little 30 injured broken boots. One of these days I'll look up the actual names and put the reference sheet next to me. Or something. I should, I, it would probably be appreciated by people who actually know these terms. Uh, I don't know. We have the speed ball. Shot speed and my speed. Shot speed is irrelevant, so we can range upgrades, but. My own speed's a nice thing to have upgraded. Uh, Mom's Pearl... Yeah, why not? Head. Take care of the Brimstone Spiders. More little floaters. Get them in a hurry. And there's the boss room. Got a bunch of unclear floors, so let's go back and check them out. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, Brimstone Spiders, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, shop, yes, no, no. This is, this is my game freezing. This is my game crashing. This is my Xbox One homepage. And this is the Binding of Isaac Rebirth booting up again. Okay, love the Xbox One. Just gotta love the Xbox One. Well, we got a minute. I'm gonna leave this in for the sake of transparency, so how y'all doing? How's your day? Oh, really? Interesting. How'd that thing go? Oh, yeah? Nice. Good to hear. Alright, let's get back to the floor. We can pick it up right from the beginning of the floor, so... We got a better idea of the layout now, so I guess we'll go be a little more careful. Maybe I don't have to use the balls of steel pill quite so early. Here up them. There's infamy again. Since I know it's down, but I've not been up and around yet, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, blocks infamy. Happy about that. Bomb spider down. Red spider down. Or, I'm saying spider still. Bomb fly and red fly down. Keys and a bunch of headless bugs. Iron off them brimstones. Got a curse room. Now these f blue flames, blue and purple, are magic, and they can only be put out with fire. You always want to try to put them out because there's a good chance of a soul heart being within them. Unfortunately, that's all I found in that room, so I basically just leave that room with half a heart more than I'm walking with. Which ain't bad, but... Yeah, I, I was just hoping for more. I had to use balls of steel, that's unfortunate. Just some coins, nothing impressive. Uh... Little girdlings, nothing to worry about there, but let's see what we can find in the challenge room. After, we check cards. They're both strength. Alright, well, 
Now we know double up actually means double up. No. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I have too many red hearts to go into the challenge room. That is unfortunate. Challenge rooms are locked based on red hearts. I wish that wasn't the case, but it is. Which is why certain characters get into challenge rooms far more often than others. At least certain runs do, anyway. So we're just going to go through everything we know already. We have a vague idea of what to expect because short-term memory is not one of my strong points. Well, it is, but I tend to focus on the moment. Take them all out, be quick about it, back into the item room, there's a speed ball once again. And to the left, we go into the shop because this is where we froze. And within the shop, we get a bomb, we get a pill, we get life savings. I don't have enough cash for any of them. So I exit without realizing that I can just dump the three coins. Let's dump the three coins. And now let's head to where we know the boss room is. Because I'm in the mood to finish the floor. Once again, mom's pearl and a key. Nothing wrong with that. Some sort of spiders, easy peasy. We got plenty of flies and spiders spawning. This should be an easy boss fight. But we'll see. Mom. That's a good chunk of hair left on. They get hit, but I'm not worried about it. I got more than enough health to stand up to a couple of this. Done. And we have opened. A boss rush challenge. Let's check the deal with the devil room or Babylon. Potentially, I can get myself down to no red hearts, which would keep horror Babylon open all or active, I should say, all the time. Which I'm gonna try for. And let's look at these. Anything I want. I don't say no to free items. Anything. I can... Just this one. Spider bite. Nothing wrong with a good slow effect. Now we have to deal with the boss rush because I took an item. So when his boss rush is literally a boss rush, all the bosses. We're gonna be here for a couple of minutes. Good news is I'm not worried about it. I have plenty of health to begin with, and because of the gimp that I picked up in the or not the gimp, the gimp mask, gimp suit, whatever the item's technically called, because of that little gimp mask that I picked up in the deal with the double room, if I take a hit, I got a good chance to drop a soul heart. So I can replenish all my superficial hearts as they get lost. All I gotta do is be careful of enemy types that can have attacks or just suicide or whatever. I just need to be careful of anything or anyone that can blow up these rocks that I'm using as a safe haven because I can fly. And there's the little bomb fly. He blows up a few rocks, but not too many. Specifically the ones I'm choosing to pull up on at the moment. So that guy. And now it's time for Loki who spawns bomb fly as well, so I'm not happy to see him. He's gone, and has time to deal with the Steve Twins and with the Geminis. Okay. And we got some big ball of stuff. There's just so many things to do. And the order. Pardon me. The order's not set in stone. And nothing's really that difficult to deal with, it's just there's a lot of them. And there's just gonna be more and more of the time. Deal with Monstro. He's living meat worm. He's gonna get bit on me because he gets free from the slow effect. A little bit more, a little bit more. And he's gone. Picking up whatever soul hearts I find on the ground. They're not dropping too often, but they're dropping every now and then. Just to stay out of their shots from wherever they're coming from. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But Chubb's gone because of that, so now I can come up here and kill Gertie. That's be easy enough. Just take shelter from his shots behind a rock. And keep pinging him with brimstone. Come on, take my hits. One more. There we go. Let's get Gertie, and I've now unlocked the characters for dealing with Gertie. There's a so heart. Let's see that. And Lucky Rock is pretty in the basement. That's also a good thing. But, uh, freaking gish dropped Explosive shot, so there's another explosive shot. Be careful of that guy. Be careful of that guy. Now I'm staying on these blocks because they're both monster type enemies, and I'm hoping to cheese them like I did before. And I do. They are cheesed, they are 100% glitched. They ain't doing nothing until I completely eliminate them. So that's a free kill for two. That was so hard to get that. Let's get this massive spider out my way. 
I'm gonna deal with these little worms jumping around. More worms flying around. <sighs> See many worms. And the husk. Get on with the husk. That's gonna come and take a shot right there. If some of these blocks good enough, I can't for me so far. I'm happy about that. Really happy about that. Um, Infamy, for those who don't know, is that mask I picked up in the beginning of this floor. And it has a chance to block damage from shots, and just shot type damage. And that's if you're facing the direction the shot originated from. Let's deal with this guy. I don't want to be in a cardinal direction of him because he's got brimstone. Okay, now I deal with the mask. Okay, deal with the mask. Now the horsemen are coming out. And they tend to all come out at once, so it's two, and then two, and then I believe it's the last two. Or maybe I haven't unlocked the last two yet, so I guess two, two, and one. Right, anyway, that was famine, pestilence, and it's war and death. Took a couple hits, but on the plus side, drop a mm, soul heart, found a soul heart, you know, Jake, whatever I can get. I've been able to keep up pretty much full health, and it's su surprising, to be honest. I expected far more damage. Well, I've taken that good amount of damage, but I've been able to replenish it far more than I expected to. So now I just gotta deal with war. He's lost his horse. He goes. Okay, there's a headless rider, and there's the fall. Let's deal with the headless rider. The fall. Well, I dealt with the head of the headless rider, now it's gonna be the rider part. And the two little fallings that come from the one big fallen. Go, and then him. The nail has appeared in the basement. I get a reward for clearing the boss rush. Pick up any hearts in here. Any more hearts that I can pick up. It does not appear to be. So I'm leaving here just two hearts shy of full health. Not bad. And 99 bombs. Nothing wrong with that. Moving on to. Is it Utero? We are Utero 1. <laughs> we are moving towards the beginning of the end. Now, these last two floors, they are far more difficult, far more difficult enemies spawn, and on a more regular basis, or in a higher frequency, I guess is the proper way to say it. Like these guys, these guys don't spawn anywhere else, and they're difficult to tolerate. Not deal with, but you're going to see me drop bombs everywhere now, too, because I got the bombs to do it. I'm going to look for them secret rooms. I ain't been actively seeking up until this point. Boom. There we go. There's one secret room. And it's super green! He's dead. Steam sale. Yeah, that's gonna come in real handy on the floor with no shops. Anyway, let's keep pushing. Let's hunt for good stuff. And just bomb it. Bomb everything. Why not? Like I said, I got the bombs for it. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We got two soul hearts, and I'm gonna lose one leaving, so. I gained one. That's a plus. I'm always looking for the pluses in these in this game. Take whatever advantages and boons I can get. Got a lot of spiders and got a good amount of flies. There's definitely some boons right there. It's just bomb bombs everywhere as far as the eye can see. And, oh, nothing. Okay. Up here, lots of rocks. Bomb them! Bomb them! Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. I dropped that out Okay, close to soul heart because as of this floor, also, the damage enemies do is up from a half a heart to full heart. Standard. Okay, we found the boss room, but I'm gonna keep looking for things because I want things. I'll take anything that I can find. Those things are handy, especially this floor. The difficulty may go up, but so does the likelihood of finding good things like items, not just collectibles. Drops and trinkets and such. Still looking for any secrets. Take them whenever I can find. Whenever I can get my grubby, greedy little hands on. I take that back. My hands is not little. My hands is a large. I'm just enough to grab my entire face. I got a big face because I got a big head. And everything's proportioned, pro proportioned appropriately. <laughs> uh, enough of them keys. Alliterations and such. Still nothing. Still nothing. Nothing but enemies. Nothing but enemies. And bombs, keys, and pennies. 
Yeah, all that, all those coins. It's real great to have a whole lot of coins when you, you know. Oh, pretty fly. Two of them, in fact. Not bad. Like, like I was saying, it's great to have all these coins when you know you ain't got a store to use them. Especially when I got that steamy sale. Everything in the store is half price. Great. Fantastic. Super useful. Pardon me. Let's see. Empty room. No, we got girdlings and there's a challenge room. I think. Yep, we'll get into the challenge room. Guess we'll just grab the keys and let's see what we have. Uh, we got troll bombs and some coins. And take a little bit of damage. Nothing wrong with it. That's to be expected at this point. Get a chub. And chub dealt with. Two monsters. Yeah. Could be worse. Any monster shoes. Good uses. And they die pretty much at the same time. It doesn't normally have it. Keep it looking. Keep looking. Keep it pushing and keep it looking. I will find something. Anything of use. Take anything of use. And not much many places to look though. Okay. Boom and boom and nothing. Looks like this is the last room. I'm gonna have to go turn around and deal with boss. Oh look, fish head. Spawn more flies that way. Uh, oh, secret! I had to come to the very last room and it's just a bunch of hearts. It'd be great if I had the dark bum, but I don't have the dark bum, so... Keep moving, keep moving. Nothing to do now but go deal with the boss. I'm not saying that like that because I'm worried about it, I'm just... I could have dealt with him, like, five minutes ago. If this was going to be, like, what I was walking in with. I didn't really walk in with anything extra. Uh, this is not good, she ain't doing nothing special, bleh, whatever. Spikes don't scare me, I can easily tell you're gonna attack me out the way, just keep laying at you, you're dead. Item, we get dust. Ooh. Tears and shot speed up, not bad, not bad, and chests. Alright, look up a draw, what we got? Uh, ooh, yes! Guppy's paw! Okay, it'll not copy hairball and we all have chance to rate. But I'm more excited about the Cuppy's Paw for two reasons. One, use it immediately, full hearts. That means Horror of Babylon is now always active, which gives me extra damage. But more importantly, that's my third Guppy item. I am now Guppy. You can't tell, because I'm a Zazel. And a Zazel's natural look kind of sort of overrides Guppy's look. But if I was any other character, uh, you would see a floating cat. The Guppy transformation just makes a run completely makes a run like if I see the ball stream now I'm just gonna start it as we we win there's no point in, like looking around for things I'm always gonna take the double key rooms because I'm curious but nothing so what the I need to explain I'm guppy like I said can't see it but just trust I'm guppy guppy transformation does two things for you if you couldn't already you can fly by transforming guppy for whatever reason you can fly I guess because these are dead cat and now it's possessed you or whatever but more importantly, every time you hit an enemy with your shot attack, or in my case, every time an enemy takes an instance of damage from the brimstone, I generate a blue fly. So in addition to the head item that I'm carrying, which generates flies, and my fish head trinket, which helps generate flies, I am creating a massive amount of blue flies at all times. And some people will say blue flies ain't that big a deal. I say they are. Here's why. Blue fly damage is relevant to the amount of damage you do. I do a good amount of damage, especially since right now, like I said, I just checked that. My damage doesn't look that impressive, but I do extra damage right now because I'm technically under the effects of Horror of Babylon. I'm transformed into a part demon, means I have, do well, I should be, but like I said, Zazel's natural look kind of sort of overrides everything. But I do extra damage is what I'm trying to get at. And now I just got full health. I have full flipping health. An army of flies behind me that do a massive amount of damage, plenty of blue spiders that do a massive amount of damage, my own attack that does a massive amount of damage, and my own attack generates flies at an unbelievable pace to do even more damage. I am set. Where's that boss? It's game time. It's game over. Let's just let's get this on. Let's let's do this. Let's just go ahead and open all that yeah, the flat penny. No, thank you. I'll keep that for shit. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Moving ahead and moving on. Na -na 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 -na. What do we got? What do we got? And that's unfortunate. One of mom's hands grabbed me. He's back to spawn. I'm back to spawn. 
Uh, let's go ahead and clear out that room since I'm here now. Since I got hit, pick up on them. Back up into here. Be a little more careful this time. Try not to get hit by my mom's hands because I don't want to make this trip again. Because it's pointless. Two, three, and four. Done. Deal. And we got a bunch of flying leeches. One of them hit me. That's unfortunate. And just because I can. Just because I know it's readily available. We're going to backtrack a couple rooms here. Blue heart, full health. Moving on. Back up, back up. This has to be the only... The boss room has to be like two rooms away. Because like, there's nowhere else to be at this point. We've checked everywhere. And I'm just picking up things for the sake of picking them up. Because why not? I've got a massive amount of all these items that I'm not using. The coins, the bombs, the keys. Ridiculous. There we go, mom's heart just be over quick, son. Like quick. I deal with all these little things that spawn, so if the heart will come back down, I can hit it. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Now, since that room's open, deal with the devil. I can go down. And you know what? I think we're gonna go down. Yeah. I don't lose anything, and I, it needs to be done sooner or later, so go ahead and we unlocked Eden, because we cleared Mom's heart. Booyah. Run 2, we cleared Mom's heart. How about that? And we're down in Shoal, aka Hell. So, we're going to move through here. We're going to work this out. Let's see what happens. Uh, Yeah, you can have just uh, just all the money. All the money. And you give me dog food. Man, it's health. Ah, crap. Should not have taken that. Because um, I'm not... Eve. Eve's the only one who can have a full heart, one full heart, and still be under the effects of full Babylon because I have a full heart on the one under those effects. So I do a little less damage now. Mm, this is unfortunate, but I'm still Guppy, so I'm still kind of sort of OP, especially since I was a Zazel before I was Guppy. Like, this is just ridiculous. Like, blast, clear the room, move ahead. Blast, clear the room, move ahead. Pick up whatever it is in my way, because why not? Not gonna use any of it, but why not? And there's the boss room. Uh, yeah, we're clearing bosses left and right. Let's just go. Let's do this. Let's, let's finish this run. Let's kill Zayden. Yay! All right, for number one, there's a fallen and two flying bomb leeches. You with the fallen and both of his little fallens. Let's see. Number uno. Couple shots. Take care of him, and then he jumps up for form number two, which he's gonna stamp on the ground. Jump, 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 jump. And we're just clear ahead of those to the bomb leeches to show up. And done. Just like that. Just like that. Run number two. Number flipping two. And we go clear mom's heart, clear Satan, all these unlocks. We even got the guppy transformation. This is insanity. Like I don't know when to have this good of a luck on like any of my dozens of runs on the normal on my first file. Not the, my normal file. This is my normal file. The other file is hard file because that's challenge file. That's for respect file. Yeah. This is for showing file. Yeah. Anyway. So now we're in the chest. And that was the end. That you see at the end of show. And that was the end of run number two. That went extremely well. Unlock the demon tail. Unlock Judas. So many unlocks. That's a good run. I've been Halo. It's been a video. I'll see y'all next one.